Hey there, this is Heather Ford with TwoBlooms.com and in this Lightroom tutorial I'm going to show you how to create fall colors in Lightroom. So if you are shooting in the fall and the leaves haven't quite turned orange and red and yellow yet, you're still in luck because you can change that right here in Lightroom and I'm going to show you how right now. Okay, so we're going to get started with this photo. Um, I'm just going to bring up the temperature a little bit. This is the straight out of camera just to warm it up a bit. And then I'm going to head down to the, whoops, to the HSL slider. So what we're wanting to do is just bring out um, some yellow and maybe some orange tones in this greenery. So I'm going to come over here, make sure I'm in my hue panel, and I'm going to change the hue of the green. So I want to make them a little bit more yellow. If I were to switch it on this side, it's going to deepen the green. So I'm going to make them more yellow by sliding it over to the left. So you can see how that changed. Now if I want to bring in some oranges to these yellows, I can change by using the um, yellow slider. So I can just bring in some more oranges and then I can even manipulate the oranges now, make them pop out a little bit more. There we go. So you can see before and after just by messing with the the HSL sliders. You can, you know, create more of a fall look. Now I have created um, my Autumn Envy collection. I'm just going to use one of these presets really quick because it's just going to make them pop a little bit more. Okay, so let's work with this photo now. I'm going to show you how you can enhance it even more. So let me just bring up the temperature a little bit. It was slightly cool to begin with. Not all right, so I'm going to again come down to the HSL and shift my greens a little bit, make them more yellow. You know, and all this is personal preference, so if you want to make it more yellow or ye less yellow, it's up to you. And then I'm going to change my yellows and make them a little bit more orange. And bring out some reds in there. You see that when I, when I slide that, I can pop out those reds. You gotta just make sure like in their hair and whatnot if they have red tones in their hair you don't want to go crazy because you're gonna start to see that in the hair. So what you can do to offset that or to um, not run into that at all you can come up to your brush tool and you can create a new brush with the um, with the color. So you can pick your color like a good fall color and just brush over the entire area. So I'm going to, to save time, I'm going to just pick one of my um, Autumn Envy brushes. They're really good for bringing out the, the color pops in the foliage. So I'm going to use my golden orange brush and this just adds a nice fall orange to the foliage without it looking too crazy. And I'm just going to quickly go over this um, I just made my brush size smaller by adjusting it with my uh, scroller on my mouse. And then when I want to, you know, work with a new one, I just click New. I can come down here. I'm going to do my paint on marigold. I'm going to go over my greens, just make the greens a little bit more um, golden, so that it kind of looks like fall, fall grass. And then I can come over here and then add in some reds with my autumn red brush. Now if you find that you're working with a brush that you made or with one of these brushes, which I will give you the link to this um, collection in the description below. If it's too much, you can just come up here, make sure you minimize this little uh, triangle and then you can adjust the amount. So I'm just going to bring down those reds a little bit. I still want some red in there, but I don't want it too saturated. I want it to look natural. So there we go. I think that looks pretty good. So you can see the before and after how we took a summer, end of summer image and made it look really great um, and it looks like autumn. So this can be really helpful in your, you know, in your photography if you have a lot of fall sessions and it hasn't really quite gotten to fall yet and your clients really want that or if you're just wanting to 
make fall images out of summer images or whatnot. This is really fun to play around with. So make sure you go check out my website and check out this really awesome mini collection. It's very affordable. It's really cool and it's really fun to play with. So go check that out. I will leave a link in the comments. And if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to our channel to receive weekly videos uh, directly to your email. So thanks so much for tuning in and I will see you next time.